document sections with different variants can also be trained to recognize documents where field location varies greatly. First, we'll add variants to the section in the data sets. We'll also add a service field that displays the variant which is matched. I'll go ahead and click on my document definition, click Edit, right click, click on Properties, and click on Data Sets. And here I can first click View and then click Add. I'll type in left for my left variant. Now I can click Add again and enter Moynhos. And you can see Moynhos and left have been added. Now we can add our service field. We'll call this service field variant ID, and then I need to map a data source. My data source will be the flexible section variant ID, which you can see in this drop list. And we'll see how this helps us a little bit later. We'll save and publish the document definition. To accommodate multiple variants, we have to train a classification batch to distinguish each variant, one from another. In classification training batches, we create a new batch and load images. So we'll switch over to classification training batches, and we'll create a new batch. And we'll load these five left images. And now we'll set the class for these images. We want this to be QA report, and we want to specify the variant, and the variant, no, specify variant, and the variant will be left. We'll click on OK. Click on OK. And our reference class has been mapped. And now we can load more images. This time, we'll take images from the Moynhos folder. And we'll let those get added. And next, we'll select just these added documents. We'll click Specify Variant once again. And we'll select Moynhos. And that Moynhos has the variant ID number 3. We need to highlight Moynhos before we click OK there. And that sets Moynhos as a reference class. Now that we've set the reference classes for all the images, we can right-click on the classification training batch and click Train. We can click on the background task and view the log to see the details of what's going on. And now that that's complete, we need to remember to do a very important step, and that is to actually load the classifier so it can be put into play. So to do that, we'll click on Project, Project Properties, and we'll click on the Recognition tab, and click on Classify Pages. And here we can load that classifier. 